Hello everyone, this is Cisco DNA, Digital Network Architecture, and this is True Power. Like, no, it's not True Power, it's a command line interface. I get that, but here we are at the GUI of Cisco DNA Center, and this is also power. So let's talk about it. Even though it's a GUI, we love this system. Cisco DNA is all about intent-based networking and being able to use things such as policy, management, configuration, troubleshooting, all here in a GUI-based environment for multiple sites where each site can have hundreds of clients and dozens of network devices. So let's chat about it. Here we are in our DNA Center. It's a demo account, but we have 12 sites that we're managing, monitoring, configuring, and deploying devices at all with the click of a mouse. These 12 sites are rolled out across the continental United States. On those 12 sites, we have 77 inter-networking devices. Inter-networking devices, not clients. We're talking routers, access points, firewalls, wireless LAN controllers. It's awesome. These things are going to be provisioned within our Cisco DNA Center so we can control them and configure them and update these devices live with the click of a button. We can roll out policies across these sites as well and have these devices being provisioned with these policies. We can roll out network profiles using addressing and SSIDs for wireless with security and configurations. We have images regarding our operating systems and being able to upgrade these OSs on these boxes live from anywhere inside of our 12 sites. We have our DNA licensed devices on top of that. So we're going to focus right here today on the network configuration and the operations area. And this corresponds to the tab bar at the top that we have up there for design, policy, provision, assurance, and platform. Design is where we start. We can create sites across the world where each site is going to have devices contained inside of it. We can roll out policies and configurations on top of those sites by dragging and dropping or clicking and just deploying. We can designate operating system images for groups of devices known as device families. I can create wireless profiles that we'll see and we can literally drag and drop and roll these out across our network devices and entire sites across the world. Now we really see our intent-based networking coming into play here with Cisco DNA regarding policy. And with policy, we get tons of power. That power that we're going to see is going to allow us to reduce our attack surface. We're going to be able to deploy access control list style protection across entire networks and sites and specific devices at the click of a button. We can completely accelerate incident response because we're going to get a live visibility of our users. The devices our users are using, the applications our devices are using with those users, and even the processes running in the background. This is amazing to help us analyze and stop breaches on the fly. With provisioning, we can roll out and discover devices using protocols of CDP, LODP, and general IP. We can manage the unclaimed devices that have not been provisioned by the Cisco DNA Center service, but are being seen in our network. With assurance, we can do monitoring and troubleshooting on the fly. We'll hop into this shortly. And finally, with platform, Cisco DNA Center loves APIs. We have an API catalog that walks you through many different APIs that can be used to assist you in integrating your device and controlling and configuring the Cisco DNA Center system. For example, the categories, know your network. We have APIs regarding REST APIs for using GETs, where we can pull down information from the Cisco DNA Center regarding site health. We can post from our client device and specifically assign a brand new physical inter-networking device we have in our hand. We can assign it to a site in Cisco DNA Center by using an API with POST. If you don't know how to do it, you can just literally click it and the DNA Center API catalog will walk you through how to do it. There's a code preview, a try it button. This is power.